Sports Talk Worldwide with some NBA news. Now, you got both of the semifinals going on, or the conference finals going on, depending on how you look at it. And um, it's 2 0. Cleveland 2 0. Golden State 2 0. Are you guys enjoying yourselves? All right? <laughs> There's absolutely no parody here. It's basically mismatches. The only thing we can hope for is that San Antonio, you know, Kawhi Lena get himself together, get that ankle right, and it can help. If not, that's probably not going to be competitive either. All right? And this is not going to be good for the NBA going forward because, you know, people are going to start tuning out. You know, me personally, I'm a league passer. I watch it all. You know, I don't, it's not regional for me or what I'm being showed. I'm going to league pass and watch everything. So it's a whole lot of things going on in the NBA if you look at the whole NBA landscape. So I liked the regular season. It was real good, good, real good regular season. First round of the playoffs, I thought was awesome, right? But at the second round, started, you know, got a little, didn't get so good. Now it's getting even worse, you know. Um, this is when it should be competitive, guys. And it's pretty much not, especially that uh, Boston Celtics Cleveland <laughs> series. You know, I mean, we know they got beat by about 46 points the other night, but it's not just that. It's just the fact that you can see that the, even the bench, of, uh, of Cleveland can handle this, probably, you know. You know, you probably could win this without LeBron, for example, right? Because you still have Kyrie Irving who can create, you know. So who's the Kyrie Irving on the Boston, right? Maybe Avery Bradley, who's probably one of the best two-way players in the game, man. But there's just no firepower on the side of Boston to really do this because Cleveland's also a good defensive team. So, you know, a couple of weeks ago when we were – Wondering why Cleveland is limping into the playoffs like we thought because they went about 500 in the last 20, 24 games. Man, these guys, this is what they're playing for. Teams like that, this is what they're playing for. So uh, you're seeing it now. LeBron's doing what he's doing. There's no one who can pretty much stop him. There's it's a matchup problem for Boston. So it's like it's turning into ho-hum TV. You know, I'm pretty sure people who are not really in the basketball are probably tuning out at halftime if you're down by 35. Now, 20-point leads, if you watch... Those can evaporate, but the total dominance, it's kind of ridiculous. And Golden State, you know, like I say, the whole year, you know, loved them last year. And it's very hard to go against Draymond Green, defensive man, probably the best defender in the, in the game, right? And uh, Steph Curry, it's hard to go against those guys, you know? But going out, getting Kevin Durant after a 73-win season, you know, I say it over and over, it's just hard. So I had to get my Golden State hate on Right? So, uh, you know, going for San Antonio against them. But it's, it's not going to happen. Right? The best two teams, you know, by far. You know, and one of them's in the East. Uh, so we didn't really have anything to do the whole year. Right? But they're stepping up when they should. And there's a whole lot of weapons there. There's a whole lot of weapons to go in state. So when that series comes, the finals, then we can we can dance. Then we can talk about it a little bit. You know, and I'll tell you who I think going to win. But, you know, I would just hope to see somebody... You know, Boston or San Antonio win a game or two or something. You know, give us some suspense. And I'm pretty sure the NBA is like, man, we got to do something about this, you know. Because you don't want games at this late in the season that are over, over in first halves and things like that. You know, you really don't want that. So, uh, basically, you know, it's not a good time, man. So, um, all I can say is, you know, let's hope that the uh, Celtics fans you get to see their uh, <laughs> see their team come back. You know, the Celtics land. If not, the last thing they had to cheer about was that dunk, which I thought was pretty cool. You down by four, they still cheering for dunks, man. That's that's a good crowd, man. So let's just see what it is going forward. I personally am not really enjoying the playoffs. And you're talking about a guy who's been watching the NBA for a long time. I told you my issues are with the officiating to the way the game is going. Totally pro shooter. You know, I'm not really in tune with that. It'll take a little time for me to digest that. But like I say, I'm a league pass. I watch it all, right? So, you know, um, there's the good and the bad. I still love the NBA. Don't get it twisted in here. Don't sports talk worldwide. And I'm about it.